Good morning, Al Ingalls at pressure-free.com this morning, and I'm in a different room. I just finished giving a viola lesson at Kellogg Community College, where I am a professor um, of violin and viola, and um, I worked with a delightful young woman. We're just doing some Mozart, so my brain is so alive right now. <laughs> Um, I want to thank everyone who comes on live to my show, and um, if you're watching the replay, thank you so much. Uh, I'm continuing my series on um, the, um, the, the Be Nice um, campaign of the West Michigan he uh, Mental Health Foundation um, and their attempts and their mission to stump out the stigma of mental illness, get people the help they need. Um, and today when they're, we're on the letter C, which stands for challenge in their acronym of Be Nice. So C stands for challenge, and the challenge is to actually help get people the help they need. Provide some help and hope for people, um, which can definitely be challenging. And also the challenge of just stomping out stigma in general and helping people. Um, so, you know, there's just something really wonderful to think about when you reach out and you provide someone with that lifeline and with that hope um, and um, get them the help that they need, whether that's um, a mental health professional, talking with a, a minister or a priest or, you know, someone, someone that they trust, um, even if it's a child, even letting their parents know what's going on, you know, it's, those are tough things. Um, to navigate and sometimes we don't we, we're not the challenge is to reach out because it can be scary to um, To reach out you don't know how someone is going to react So we're actually challenging ourselves to reach out and help those in need and get the help that we need ourselves So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Al Ingalls and I am a performance coach and um, So I'm not a therapist and I'm not a counselor but I have created um, an on-the-go stress management method and my expertise is on the fight or flight stress response. I've drilled really deeply on that and that is what I help people with. Feelings of anger and anxiety, the feelings that cause us to trigger fight or flight. And then when I'm working with someone, if I see that they need deeper help, I help them get that help. So um, we're all unique and we're all different. Um, the, the video that I will attach here later today um, that, um, and if you just go to be nice.org, you will find these videos on N I C E. And the video on challenge is wonderful because it really tells you how to get people the help that they need. Um, what's interesting is sometimes people will come to a coach, and so maybe you feel comfortable going to your athletic coach or a teacher at school and telling them what's going on with you, or your counselor at school, and they can provide you with the resources and the help that you need. Um, and if you're an adult, it's really amazing how many um, people struggle with, with something going on in our minds. Our minds are incredibly complex. And the stories that we tell ourselves can be incredibly complex. And the events that happen in our lives can really be challenging. And, um, and sometimes we'll be going along just fine and then something will hit us funny or an incident happens or we experience great trauma and um, and it really spins us in a way that we that is completely unexpected, and that's when we need to get the help we need. And sometimes that help has to happen fast. And so um, I'm encouraging, I'm challenging you to to not wait. If you see someone in need, or if you yourself are in need of some help, and if I'm the person that you want to talk to first, go ahead and sign in and get a strategy session with me, and let's talk. Um, you can also just private message me. That's an easy way to contact me. Uh, if you go to my website though, pressure-free.com, you will see all sorts of resources for you. And um, you know, it can, it can really change your life. And at all levels, I was talking to a highly um, respected business person this morning, and, um, and you know, this helps everyone. So um, some people think I'll, I just work with students, but I work with, with people of all ages. My eldest client was 80 years old, um, and my youngest was 10. So that's a pretty broad range. Um, so my, my challenge to you is um, to, to be more aware of people in need and um, to help us, to help West Michigan Mental Health Foundation and all these other organizations around the country um, overcome this um, stigma that you might need help 
And it seems like the people who, who really have a stigma about it are high achievers. You don't want to admit any weakness. I know, I was there. I'm, I, I, I never wanted to admit I had any sort of a mental weakness. And so stopping out that stigma is so important and getting the help you need. Looking for the right solutions can be challenging too. And when I work with people, I'm always like, you know, the first therapist you talk to might not be the one that resonates with you and syncs with you. So find the people that really can help you. Um, and I really want you to reach out to me if you feel like I'm the person that you want to talk to first. And then I can connect you. Um, or maybe it's just anxiety. Maybe that's what we need to help you with. And in that case, I'm an expert on that. That is what Pressure Free is all about. Helping you. Hi, Heather Ann. Thank you for joining. Um, and thanks for the like. Uh, if you're on here, yeah, give me some likes and hearts like I can't see. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at the college this morning. I just finished teaching, so I can't really see anybody come up, up on here. So feel free to, to chime in and let me know you're here. Um, I'm also curious. Uh, yesterday we talked about slogans. I wonder if anybody came up with any. So Heather Ann, you came up with a nice one. Um, so any slogans that you use to help turn your mind around, to help get you thinking more positively about yourself and other people. Um, I love suggestions because I, I'm pretty stuck on my slogans. Stay up, let it go, caught you. Um, I can do this that I got from one of my clients that you'll see on my website if you take a look. Um, if you've never toured my website, go ahead, and I'm now doing a blog post every day. I pop these videos up, but I also talk um, in my blog a little differently, so the subject matter's a little different, and that's just more content for you that I'm now providing. Um, and then I also spin that out in LinkedIn, too. So I'm really trying to reach people. If you can help me by sharing out my videos that you like, um, especially share them to people who are suffering. Um, you have no idea, you know, and, and look for the signs of suffering. It may not seem like they have anything going on really here, but it's physical. Are they overweight? Anybody buddy that you know that has more weight on them than they should, something's wrong. Something isn't quite right. They're overeating for a reason or they're not exercising for a reason. And it tends to go deep into the self and be about self-worth. So that's a sure sign that someone could use the pressure-free method. Plus, you'll get rid of the stress fat, which is the worst fat of all to have on you. <laughs> I still got some belly fat, <laughs> but the stress fat in my upper torso has disappeared, and that's fantastic. So also look for signs in the face. If you see people who have those blurry lines here, um, could be they squint in the sun too much, or it can be that um, they get very tense in the face if they grind their teeth. Um, if they have heart palpitations, if their heart is pounding, um, if their stomach feels weird, if they have frequent urination. So those are just some of the signs that um, you know for sure that someone is definitely experiencing too much of the release of these hormones. So too much anxiety or they have anger issues. Um, and you may say, a lot of people will say this to me, you know, that's just my personality. I get angry, I'm a type A, that's just my personality. But I can reassure you that that is your stressed out personality. It's not your real self. So if you're interested in finding your real self, <laughs> it takes a little bit of work, but I'm an infinitely patient coach and I help you be patient with yourself as well so you become your own best friend and you t stop those nasty voices that we talked about yesterday. Hey Carol, thank you for joining. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I'm off now. I'm going to go up to Michigan State University and um, watch um, a wonderful runner, Maggie Farrell, who went to Lakeview. She's running today. And then the whole Lakeview teams are going to be there along with a whole host of other teams. So um, I'm going up to MSU. Have a fabulous pressure-free day.